and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be kind of popping on just really quick uh, for this before this weekend starts. It is currently Friday, June 16th and the weekend relay for uh, with the Storytellers Hearth is going to be starting tomorrow morning. So I wanted to pop on and tell you that I am in fact doing it um, and I'm going to be kind of vlogging my experience and this is the first time I'm doing the vlog so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, my goal for this is a little weird. Um, I have to work both days and so I won't be actually able to participate in most of the sprints. Um, and, but I like having it on in the background. So then that way, um, I like doing the productivity sprints at work, especially on weekends when I'm in the office alone. Um, but I'm not writing. I'm working on the other things that I have to do for my job. Uh, so, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I'll have a lot of that on in the background, so you'll probably have seen me in the chats um, by the time this posts. This will be after the weekend relay. Uh, so, my goals for this is um, I have. Uh, I want to try to get some more read through done on my face story. Um, I haven't been able to do that much this week. Uh, and then I also want to write some more. My goal originally was to get 5,000 words in the second face story. Um, and I'm currently at about 2,000. I don't think I can get the remaining three over the next two days. Uh, cause like I said, I have to work. Um, but we'll see, especially with read throughs. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. So I'm going to get going now. Um, I have a paper to, to do tomorrow for my class at 6 p.m. Uh, so I'm going to try to get that done tonight and then hopefully have a nice relaxing evening after that. Um, I've been working really hard this week, so I kind of just want to chill. Um, so once I get the final edits and citations done on that, then I can go ahead and submit it. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 16th. I am walking my dog, uh, and Storyteller Hearth starts at 7.30. So I'm gonna walk for that, and then hopefully I can grab a shower real quick before the opening ceremony starts. Um, and then I'm gonna go to work, but Kate's sprints, I don't think start until 8.30, I wanna say. I may be wrong, it may be eight. Um, <coughs> sorry, dog pull on me. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be my morning, and I'll see you guys soon. So, I just got back from Walking the Pepper, um, and I'm now on Nia's stream. Um, I got something quick to eat, um, not that filling. I really want to order a pizza, <laughs> but I know I can't order a pizza. <laughs> Um, so now, uh, there's about five minutes left on this one, and then I think there may be one more. I'm not 100% sure there may not be, um, because it's 6.30, I think the next one starts at 7, I think, maybe 8, so maybe there'll be one more. Um, so, but right now I'm about 60 words, and I am just going to try to get as much as I can. Um, my mother did call and let me know the other day that... Um, they are going to be doing a barbecue at my house for Father's Day. Uh, so I do have to clean because there are people coming over. So I think during what I'm, my plan is during the chatty sprints, um, during the chat part, I am going to clean a little bit. And then during the actual sprinting, I, I will write and I'll do that until I hit my word count goal for today. I don't know what that is yet. I will. I'll either be 500 or 1,000, uh, depending on how I feel after I hit that 500. Um, and then, yeah, so, yeah, first Storyteller's Hearth re uh, Weekend Relay, and I'm excited. This is going well. Um, like I said, I did have to work. Uh, I hopped onto some of the streams and chatted a little bit while I worked and used those sprints to do work things. Um, so I'll probably do that again tomorrow as well. But, yeah, so... There we go. So, it is now 8.30. I just finished my 500 words for the day. 
Um, like I said, I need to clean up my house a little bit because it is an absolute wreck after this past week. Um, I had paper due what would be today, uh, but my professor always makes things do at like 6 p.m., which doesn't make sense. Um, I guess if you don't work on Saturdays, it does. Um, so I was kind of hyper focused on that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And like I said, my parents just decided to do this. Um, they decided to do it on Thursday. So I didn't really have time yet to clean. Um, and there's gonna be more than just my immediate family at the house. So that's why I have to actually do things. Um, so I think for the rest of the night, uh, I'm gonna clean and then I'm also gonna be kind of hopping on and off the spread, um, maybe joining for the chatty parts, maybe just joining for uh, parts of the productivity, maybe read a little bit. I don't know, like I said, it's 8.30, I have to go to work tomorrow. I may just clean for a half an hour and go to bed. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, my hope is to maybe get some things done. Um, uh, this is great. Yeah. Um, if I, I decided to go ahead and start using Trello for trying to organize things a little bit better because I can access it from pretty much anywhere. I don't just have to have my notebook. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe that'll help me get my life together a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna try to also finish setting that up in the immediate future, today or tomorrow. I don't know which. Um, it may be Monday. But then on Monday, while I'm off, um, I'm gonna continue going through all the sprints that I'm not watching. Um, so like Laura's sprint tonight, that's at 11. I'm not gonna make that. I'm gonna be asleep. Um, so uh, I'm gonna watch those while I work and hopefully I can get some things done, uh, get a little bit more actual filling in. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So it is Monday, June 19th. Um, I am doing most of the Storyteller Hearth. We can relay uh, today because I couldn't really do much of it this weekend because I was at work. Um, so for today, my goals are to just kind of uh, write a thousand words. Um, I need to reread five chapters-ish more if possible in my first face story. And then also I have a couple of things I need to do for class. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do those three things today. Those are my three main goals. Um, but I'm at the point in the second phase story that I'm not very far. I'm only about 3,000 words in. Um, but I'm at the point where... I kind of just want to jump around and write the parts I really want to write that I'm really excited about. Um, but I feel like I need to write the intro chapters for each of the characters. Uh, like I think I've said it in previous videos, these are going to be like multiple point of views. Um, so I have four in this one. I don't know how that's going to end up going with their voices. Because uh, writing voice is not 100% my strong suit, but something that I am constantly working on. Um, so right now I am on Laura's stream, um, I am replaying it from the other night, that was the last, first stream that I missed Saturday night, and then I'm just going to walk through all of them, um, and have them playing while I work today, and use those as kind of a measure of like, okay, take a break, um, because if I don't, I want one of those people where... I will get hyper focused into what I'm doing and I am super goal driven so I will just check things off my list um, and I will not get up until my dog is barking at me to go outside. Um, so I do need to be able to get up, stretch, walk around, do all the things um, and then yeah. So here, uh, so I'm going to be working on those things. And I will see you in a couple of hours.
So I have written about 750 words. I've edited a couple of chapters, um, not edited, I've read through a couple of chapters and made notes on what I need to edit. Um, and then I also did a little bit of reading for my class that I'm taking. Um, it is now 11.30, so I am going to walk my dog real quick. Uh, it's her lunchtime walk time. Um, I usually just take her out so she can go pee and stuff. Um, and yeah, so, so far my first Storyteller's Hearth weekend relay, I've gone through um, one video I went through, Laura Nettles, and then um, after that, I just kind of kept working. I didn't put another one on, um, but I will say the one that I managed to do, what night was it? Saturday night. Um, I actually was able to sit down and start writing for that one. I really enjoyed being able to write with the other people. It's kind of like whenever JC or Nia or one of them do a live stream. Um, it's just a lot more fun to write with other people and then seeing everybody's progress. Um, I was blown away by some of the word counts that people were managing to put out. I'm not a slow writer, but I'm also not a fast writer. Um, I feel like I'm about normal. In an hour on a normal day, I can usually crank out about 650 to 700 words. Um, so, and that's just like piddling around. Um, that's not sitting down hyper-focusing or anything like that. If I'm in a like good creative mood or if I haven't written in a while, I can usually just sit down and uh, crank out a thousand words an hour. Um, I think because this weekend and last week was so exhausting. Um, I'm just kind of mentally drained. So I'm not really pushing myself on getting everything that I want done, done in the next couple of hours. If I don't get it done until this evening, that's fine. If I'm like taking breaks, reading a book, um, things like that, it's okay. Um, I'm currently reading this one book and it's really good. It's The Downstairs Girl uh, by Stacey Lee. So I am probably about a quarter of the way through that and I might finish it um, today or tomorrow depending on what else is going on. By the time this video posts, you'll definitely know because I always link my uh, current read, read and then my next read down in the description. Um, and then also what I'm listening to. So right now I'm not listening to any audiobooks. Um, I finished up the one I was listening to. It was um, the, what's it called? Enola Holmes. It was the first Enola Holmes. And I could check out the next one, but I have Stephen King's uh, fairy tale on hold. And that one says it's coming in in the next two weeks. And I started it, um, but I only got about maybe halfway through. So I want to be able to finish that one this time. Uh, so that way I'm not waiting another three months to get the audiobook back uh, from the library. So um, I think I'll just listen to the podcast. Um, I listen to the basics like Dateline and Crime Junkie. And um, I listen to the, the news with NPR. So... I get a little bit of a mix of everything in there. And those ones are always updating. Uh, Dateline has a backlist of like 400. So I always have something to listen to. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna go get changed. Um, it is starting to warm up here. It's probably about 75 out right now. So the long sleeve shirt and the sweatpants that I wore whenever I walked to Luna this morning is a little too warm for uh, out there right now. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, final check in here. Um, after I took Luna for a walk this afternoon, I just kind of, um, I worked a little bit more and then I just kind of relaxed. Um, I can't, don't know if you can tell from the circles beneath my eyes, um, but I am very tired. <laughs> um, so I did read a little bit and then I also watched uh, the new Dungeons & Dragons movie. It was on Paramount+. Plus. Um, so I watched that and then took Luna out again, uh, but then it started thunderstorming, so we quickly came back inside, uh, which is great because we needed the rain. Um, we're classified as in a drought right now. Um, 
So yeah, that, the rain was needed. My grass was dead. Um, so hopefully it will not be unalived anymore. Um, so I do have another meeting tonight for a nonprofit that I work with. So I'm going to do that. So I just wanted to hop on real quick, give you guys an update and kind of my final thoughts on the Storyteller Hearth um, Weekend Relay. I really enjoyed it. Um, Sam and Jess did an amazing job organizing it and I'm really glad they did. It was nice to be able to get on there and talk to other author tubers who aren't always necessarily within one little like minor community. I feel like the way author tube is, is that there's a bunch of people that always coexist on each other's streams. Um, and they usually hang around other people's, but if you only are introduced to one set at a time, that's kind of how you first experience it. Um, so I first was with Kate Cavanaugh and then uh, when Kate hosted JC for the last week in Relay, I just watched that on like playback. Um, I looked at JC's account and I kind of got introduced to her and Nia and Esther and Laura. So the Weekend Relay is a really good way to kind of see what other author tubers are out there. Um, and it's a good networking opportunity and also just a fun way to talk about writing with other people. Um, like I said I was blown away by some of the word counts, uh, the, the brainstorming that was going on and the chat was a lot of fun to watch, um, even if you weren't participating in it. Uh, and the questions were also fun. So I really enjoyed it um, and I am definitely looking forward to going back in October for the next one. Hopefully I don't have any plans that are going to contradict it. Um, there are several events for my work that are in October as well as like several personal events that are coming up. So those hopefully won't interfere too much with it. If so, I'll just do the same thing I did today. I'll watch some of the live streams um, on playback so then that way I can still kind of see what everybody's up to and stuff like that, any good news that comes through. Uh, it's a good way, like I said, to just meet new people. Uh, next week is the Author 2 Writers Conference uh, that is going to be hosted on various streams. So I may hop on to some of those or watch those on playback. Some of the topics seem really interesting. Uh, and so. We'll see. Um, I will say next weekend is a little bit better for me. <laughs> that may be a lie. <laughs> Since I work in events, my summers are crazy. Um, things start picking up in May and they don't slow down until November. And sometimes not even then. My slowest time in terms of like hours that I have to be at work is in January and February and even they can have crazy periods in those months with like preparing for the upcoming events um but I love my job <laughs> I'll say that I love my job uh so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog I didn't bring you along with me too too much I'm sorry for that um I'm just trying my best with learning how. Hopefully this is a good way to get the toes wet uh, before jumping into some bigger vlogs slash writing experiments that I'm thinking of. I have one that I came up with this past week and I'm really excited for it, um, but that one won't be happening for a couple of months because of the research that has to go into it. So um yep yeah, so thank you everybody for watching uh if you haven't yet please like and subscribe the subscribe button is just below here and please let me know how the storyteller's hearth weekend relay went for you um i would love to hear if you've never heard of it i highly recommend uh looking uh searching for it real quick uh they have their own channel for it and jess and sam are kind of the co-runners of it so they both have access to it but that's the place where you'll find all of the news that's where you'll have the date announcement that's coming up and plus any other like information you need to know uh so everyone have a great day and i'll see you guys with a new video very soon i'm a paraphrase